Hello and welcome back to the Selfless Stream. Uh, today we're doing OpenTTD some more. Uh, job one today is to connect Seymour up to our passenger line. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Let's unpause first. We're doing medium speed rail now. We've finally gotten ourselves off of uh, off of narrow gauge. So let's see. First things first, we got to pick out a spot for a station on the Seymour end. Kind of thinking we may want to serve this, but I don't know that we want to necessarily commit to doing just that right now. Mm. Huh. For just a moment there, I saw a little bit of a slowdown. Let's see what I can do about that. Um, I assume at least some of that's coming through on the stream as well. Ugh. Hopefully that won't be too big of a deal over time. Let's see, we want... some small time stuff. Feeling this Hilversum building. Let is lost. Wish I could say I was surprised, um, but that's alright, we'll live. Uh, we want a platform length of three, because that's what we're doing right now. Kind of thinking we may want to run longer trains, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. work. Huh. Okay, well, we do need to lower just a bit of this, flatten that out so that we can actually build our station there, and then we need to figure out what the heck is going on with these weird little stations, station tiles. Geometry is too heavy. <laughs> Poor heavy geometry. No, that doesn't respect direction. Uh, crap. <laughs> Curved roofs with building. Then we'll do curved roofs the rest of the way. That'll be fine. That's that's fine. It's a little weird, but I don't care. Uh, it, it'll be fine. <laughs> There's a little bit of a performance issue on my end. Um, I'm not sure why, though. Looks like part of it is the encoder. But it's also showing that my CPU is only at 25%, so there's not really a reason for it to be like that. That's a little frustrating. Uh, no, I don't want to Hudson. I'm going to pause the game for a second, though. Something's, something's up here. Might have opened like a whole bunch of task manager instances, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, so apparently my CPU is maxing out right now, and I don't see a reason why that should be. Rebel shooting, apparently. Hmm. 
Looks like there's a background process that's eating up all of my CPU time. So hold on just a second while I make it stop doing that thing. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> okay, we might get dropped frames for a couple seconds here, but hopefully that shouldn't last for more than a few moments. there's actually another media transcoder running in the background and it's decided that right now is a perfect time to just max out usage. Um, yeah, not, not seeing a reason for it to do that, but it has decided nonetheless. And again, I, I do apologize for the somewhat problematic nature of this. Okay, so it looks like there may not be anything that I can do about the aforementioned background process. Uh, Alright, we might just have to live with this for a little bit. But if that changes, I will be sure to change it. not great performance. So the problem is that the computer that is currently running the stream uh, is also acting as the server for another service. And it's honestly not spec for it, like, at all. But I only have the one choice for that right now. Just gonna let this train pass here. Okay, so trains coming through here can now go in any of those three directions. Um, it is a bunch of one-way tracks. Yeah, oops is right. <laughs> it's, it's kind of in rough shape at the moment, unfortunately. And the problem is that I am dumb and don't transcode things in advance. Sorry, whoever's using this, I need to... <laughs> I need to not have you use it for right now. And in about 15 minutes, I imagine I might get a confused call from somebody. <laughs> uh, but that should massively help performance here. All right. And then I can go back on later. Uh, we'll go back on when we don't need this. Uh, okay, alright. So that's sorted out for now. Uh, let's see, we need path signals. One way path signals here and here. And then we need two way path signals here and here because we've got a little terminus going on.
Hmm. Now I'm liking the idea of just serving this by rail, but I don't think the city's gonna like it if I do that, so I'm a little hesitant to just run for that. Uh, we can finally delete this, though. So we're not using that anymore. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we've got our passing track, we've got our junction. It's all path signals, so there shouldn't be any issue with trains reserving a path that they can't actually take. Um, so I think we're okay for now. And what we're going to do to account for this new station is after Mill Creek Woods, we're going to go to Seymour, and after Twitch and Old Town Hall, we're going to go to Seymour. So what's going to happen is that each time that they make this route, um, they'll have implicit orders to hit everything between. And that should make sure that everything is still being served. Uh, we'll also need probably at least one, maybe two or even three extra trains to cover the same, uh, or to cover the, that part of the route. So let's go ahead and put down... Uh, we're going to make depots exclusively be universal rail, assuming that I remember to continue doing this. <laughs> Um, whoops, no, that's not going to work. That's a bad spot for that. So the problem, the reason that I can't put it there is because it won't be able to make a turn to the right out of the, out of this, out of this, um, depot. Bleb, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, bleb, bleb. Maybe we should have one facing each direction on this track, I'm not sure. Bleb, bleb, bleb. Hey, look at Discord. Turns out what I've done here is a little bit stupid. <laughs> um, I've created a situation where I need to put down a depot, but there's nowhere that I can put it down that'll actually it'll actually function properly. So what we're gonna need to do is change a little bit of the track. Oh, it's universal rail, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, we'll put it here, and then we need. Medium speed rail. And then we're going to connect here and here. No, that's not right. <laughs> here. We're going to clear that out and then move the entire construct over by one tile. And that shouldn't slow trains down too much coming through here, but it will allow them to use the steam So that should be okay. purchase those land rights so that the cities don't just completely wipe this area out. I want to maybe put in some stations for these, or at least one station, um, which is why we're doing it that way. All right. All right, so now we can take it off pause and the game shouldn't just suddenly have its, uh, its performance utterly tank, so that's good. And we will also clone one of the Lisa Franks from here find one. Oh, I didn't realize they had that red bit on their tenders. <laughs> more colors, more colors. Let is lost. Still, again. <laughs> okay, so this guy should actually head this way at the junction. Oh, I 
think. Why is it stopped? What's it waiting for? Oh, it's not using the new orders yet. For some reason, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay, so they have to complete a circuit before they'll actually come through here properly. So only trains that have actually reached either end will will take the corner now. Uh, but now that we've done that, we can set up a street service in this lovely tiny town of Seymour. <coughs> Who hate me? Mm, we want streetcars because they're better. <laughs> Actually, just gonna go straight up and down their main street, I think. Yep, I got trains coming now, that's good. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of glad about that. Uh, I was, mm, I'm not gonna say looking forward to it, because that would be. <laughs> completely incorrect. I was looking forward to it the same way you look forward to, like, an earthquake you're pretty sure is going to hit in the next century. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll have upper, uh, upper, upper, upper tops? Other opportunities. Let me. How am I supposed to serve your town if you won't let me serve your town? Oh, I think I just planted trees right over one of their farms. Okay, they like me enough now. Alright, station here. Station. In here, station, oh, here, good enough. Flexible clipper, 64 miles an hour, whoa, 29 passengers, sign me up. What is this building? Uh, statue of V.I. Lenin. Well, okay. It accepts passengers and goods. I do not know what to think of that. Um, can't really even see it. Huh. Okay. So we got these Peter Whip things. Um. Yeah, we'll go with these for now. Go to here, and here, and here, and back. Rinse and repeat. We'll have ten of them. That should encourage growth. And here they all go. Spilling out. I don't know what to compare these to. <laughs> uh, uh, where are you going? Why are none of them stopping? Uh, this is weird. Why are none of them stopping? Uh oh, we've got a couple of unprofitable trains. Um, well, I'm lost. What? <laughs> what the frick? 
Um, yeah, sure. What? Why? Why did any of that just happen? <laughs> what the heck? First passenger streetcar. I mean, that's not even slightly true, but sure, we can pretend. <laughs> Seymour East, Seymour. Okay, so now they think everything is fine. Sure. So right now they're sorting their own schedules out a little bit to make sure that they're all separated out on the rails. Okay. So now they are generating profit. They're being good adults, yes. And it it was quite the pileup, yeah. <clears throat> yes, yeah, exactly. Glad you understand. Meanwhile, is generating basically no traffic. Mm. One passenger <laughs> gone. Looks like no one wants to come here, and also no one wants to leave. to interact with this. Uh, we do need more Lisa Franks, though. Like, really, really badly, from the look of it. going to create colossal uh, colossal traffic jams but that's okay geometry is too heavy and road vehicle 30 is lost <sighs> those road vehicles do not have a good sense of direction Jamathy can't get into the station. It's true, it's true. We've got serious problems here. Serious, serious problems. Uh, well, I was going to say at least this is finally producing something, but it's not. It's not producing anything. It's useless. Honestly, sounds like the plot of a of a Thomas the Tank Engine story. Jamathy was too large for the station. <laughs> uh, man, what a mess. <laughs> okay, so at this stage, then. There's more stuff we can do, but I'm just not sure how to get... <laughs> the... Most classic railway series stories do not have what you would call a moral in the modern sense. It's mostly just like, so-and-so did something bad, or selfish, or fearful, or whatever, and got punished for it, the end. <laughs> Like, that, that is literally the plot of most of those stories. It's kind of amazing, actually. What's production looking like down here? Absolutely none. Uh, hmm. I mean... Something's piling up somewhere. Book 
looks like. Oh. <laughs> it's not Jamathy's fault he's a chunk. I have <laughs> big bones. Uh, no, I, his, he just, his boiler is a little oversized. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what's going on with that. It looks like it's a problem with the chemicals line, but it's, you know what? Like, there isn't actually a problem with it. I don't understand why it thinks that it's overloaded. Four six four Hudson. Let is lost. Surprise, surprise. Chemicals. Where's the chemical train? Oh, they're passing each other. That's that's great. <laughs> J. Franco Sheets with Lightning McQueen all over them. I... What even? What even? I don't, I can't, I can't with that. <laughs> Jamathy, or the little train that couldn't. Of mechanical failure. <laughs> okay, hold on. His chunk broke him down. Uh, well, I mean, his chunk is pretty bad too, but I don't really feel like that's what's at fault for this. 79 tons of bauxite, 68% transported. Currently waiting to deliver. 53 tons. Total cargo, 265 tons. Man, it's still barely one horsepower. Driving to work. Well, okay. Um, see you later then. <laughs> Man, having that hill right on the exit to the station is really, really bad. So they've got kind of a lead up like this, it's not, like it's bad, but it's not that bad. Maybe I should double head them. Mm. Is the music kind of crackly for you guys as well, or is that just me? Down, emergency stop, broken down, 47% power. <coughs> so as soon as it finishes making this run, then it needs to depot itself, and then we can make the spam stop. Uh, information. CNR U1A class. So we need sort by engine ID, CNR class. Hmm, you know what we might want to do is put. Uh, like a Shea type. <laughs> the little engine that could. There we go. Uh, attractive effort. 69,000 or 67,669 pounds of force, which. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually sort by attractive effort so that we can have 
the uh, the UNA pulling over flat ground. Oh, oh, I want it so bad. <laughs> Such a bad idea, but I want it. Oh no, mallet. I mean, that's real expensive, and these guys already aren't turning a profit. Um, where's their running cost? Running cost, 66,000, oh, wow. Yeah, that's never gonna pay off. This is what we're using right now. So anything above that should be suitable. A Shea locomotive should be adequate. They're not that expensive. We might slow down the train overall on flat ground though. Um, heavy freight, 25 miles an hour, 86,000, 4,600. Horsepower. Ooh, I don't know. Those are electric, so we'd have to electrify the rail. Uh, EP3 quill. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's toss a big Liz on here. Boop. And now its maximum speed is 25 miles an hour, but it has uh, 9,000 horsepower and 146,353 uh, pound force when going up hills. So let's send that back up to where it's going to be. Wait, maybe not. Hold on, that's not right. No, never mind. This is an electric vehicle. Stop. That's an electric vehicle, so we can't even use it. Ah, crap. Uh, you know what we might do is just... Oh. Okay, let's add a Shea on there. Start it up. And once Jumathy gets to Twitched and Docks and unloads, we'll have him turn back for the depot. If it remembers that it's supposed to do that. What are you waiting for? Uh, okay. Sure. We'll see how the Shea locomotives perform, and then if that's not good enough, then we'll go back and rethink our strategy. Jamathy away! Okay, so Jamathy. The chonk. Is currently loading. 65, 67%. And it needs how much? It needs 265 tons total. I just want to see how this performs before we kind of abandon this and let it run on its own. Um, also, if we can get engineering supplies up here somehow, that would be neat. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's loading slowly, partially because it's actually too long for the station. <laughs> uh. Too chunky! We should take one of the cars off. Um, and to that end, we're actually going to turn Jumathy back around and send him to the depot. Zoop. Off you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dang. That is a significant improvement. Come on. Don't lag out on me now. Of 
4.5 tiles. Yeah, I'm gonna drop two of these in order to make room for the Shea. And it still hits 40 miles an hour. Yeah, all right. Maybe we should replace the leading engine with just another Shea. Cause it's not gonna go any faster than 40 miles an hour as it is. So having two Shea's might make it better on those hills. Especially getting that initial lead up. That makes it sit in the station for hours. <laughs> Alright, we'll depot you as well. Same thing. now almost already filled. Alright, yeah, that's that's better. 91, 93. I just, I'm, I'm absolutely in awe of how much faster it can ascend that hill. 100%. So this is in real time. This is it. This is it. Full speed, not sped up at all. It's just about 100% full. Uh, Jumathy here is. And what's going to happen is it's going to turn around when it's actually re realized that it's full, I guess. Come on. Come on. You're already 100% full. You don't need to do anything else. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Why do you think you're still loading? You're not still loading. 198 tons. Yeah? You're, you're not... You're not still loading. to the docks and it's just decided not to do anything. Okay, there it is. Alright, 15, 23, 25, 26. That is a massive improvement in terms of its actual performance. I don't think it's going to be any more profitable because one, it has to wait for this, so that's all that running cost that it spends just sitting there. But also, like, this is really expensive, this setup. Um, why are you leaving? Why are you trying to leave? You're not supposed to leave. Okay, this song is driving me out of my mind. Modern Problems. Hot Pink. Let's listen to Hot Pink. This song is called Hot Pink. I don't know why, and I will probably never know why. <laughs> he doesn't like being called a chonk, so he's going where he's appreciated. Well, I mean, if you were actually moving a little faster and collecting more more materials in a shorter time, I'd, I'd be ecstatic. I'd, I'd appreciate it very much. He's not very good at that, so... You know. Well, at least it shouldn't have any trouble climbing those hills anymore. Uh, let's see, let's see what we have here. So how's this coming along? Seymour has doubled in size, in, well, in population, um, since the last time that we paid attention to it. Uh, how's this station? 984. And everyone's, just about everybody there is leaving, so that's good. That means that these are keeping up with the demand. And let's see how well this does. And 
100%, goodbye. <sighs> so they're pulling somewhere around 100 passengers each time that the train arrives, which is fine by me, that seems about right. Let is lost. No surprises there. Uh, I see a third viewer. Welcome, welcome. I will raise my tea to you. And tasty tea it is too. That is a lot of people. <laughs> So Palmer is in the midst of a perpetual boom, which is good. Um, it's nearly hooked up with uh, the road system in Mc McLean. Uh, not quite. It looks like they're still segregated, just barely. Oh, unless this is hooked up. Yeah, so they actually are the same greater metropolitan area now. Only just, but... That's how it goes sometimes. Uh, oh boy, a bit of a traffic jam going on over here. I dare say it might be just about time to double track some of this. some of McLean. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's also a little bit of a problem because they have to take this corner real, real slow. Uh, hmm. going to continue to have a bit of a traffic problem here. Almost no matter what I do, I think. Because if I double track it, then we'll just have more trains waiting in either direction. Which is not really ideal. But if I don't double track it... Bradley Multi One Car Cargo Tram. What is the Multi One? Huh. Can do mail service. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's do. Let's send the entire Lisa Frank group. Which let's just rename it because it's not even narrow gauge anymore. Lisa Frank. <clears throat> 18 trains on this line. We're going to send them all to the depot. And what we're going to do is actually create a mail service that they run. might be our, our way to go. Uh, maybe we want to do... Oh, that's narrow gauge. Uh, lightweight or heavyweight. There doesn't appear to be any point to doing the heavyweight. It's more expensive. It's heavier. It's not really... It has the same capacity. So yeah, we just want to go with the lightweights, it looks like. Um... Rail car. These, I'm thinking, might be our way to go because this is actually a diesel locomotive. 
33 miles an hour. What are these guys' top speeds? Top speed, 90 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, we don't want to. We don't want the rail cars then. Uh, at least not for this service. We might use them elsewhere. And we have to sell off one passenger car for each of these in order to keep them from sticking out of the depots, which is unfortunate. I'd rather not do that, but... of it. Uh, let's make sure that we've got the rest of them selected. New vehicles, lightweight mail, green light, and we can close that depot. Where is this one stopped? This music is extremely intense for what we're doing. Like, my mind is kind of boggled by the idea that they thought, no, no, sure, this is fine. <laughs> advantage to having heavier weighted trains, but I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, so they've all got mail cars. The passenger service, I'm sure, is going to suffer a little bit, so we might want more trains, uh, which will go along with our general initiative to double-track things on our main line. Uh... Depends who you ask, I guess. All right, so let's let's get McLean cleaned up first. So we actually need to transplant the station over to about here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, how does one gender this? The, this this row of pixels here. I, I would be hard pressed to find uh, an acceptable answer to that question. <laughs> the chick sexers. Okay, but what am I supposed to learn from them? I don't... <laughs> I don't understand them, you see. Okay, we're gonna actually just knock this whole city block down. Oh, they don't like me anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> By the land, quickly. I mean, I hadn't heard that they were offering classes, so that, that part's news to me. Come on, McLean, stop hating me so I can finish fixing your streets. By which I mean, nuke a block of your downtown area? I... <laughs> it's, it's all the same, right? <laughs> no! 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 Alright, what is this building that you want to keep so badly? It's just some tenement housing! It doesn't... Do I have to bribe you? How about I have to bribe you? Local authority. Mediocre. Well, let's just... Let's... Let's, uh... Bribe the local authority. That's half my money. Oh my gosh, that's literally half my money so that I can destroy this. 
No, look, it's a game mechanic. It's not... <laughs> it is an, in an intended game mechanic. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but... <laughs> Building must be demolished first. Yay, they like me now. I'll buy that land and then flatten it. And then we are going to delete a bunch of roads. A bunch of my own roads, actually. Delete that in the first place. Uh, oop. Oh, for crying out loud. Ah! Get get off! Get off of this tile, I built too many of them. First thing to do is we gotta put we gotta put this like over here. No, uh, we need to put this here. No, that's also a bad idea. We need to put this somewhere completely different. We need to put this here. That will work. Murduin Norseman. Wow, that is a name. Come on, just... <laughs> Please, go away. <laughs> okay, I think they can turn around in the station. They can't turn around in the station. Crap. Oh my gosh, fine. <laughs> Have it in a way. Alright, what's... Okay. So what we're gonna do, then, is we are going to put the clean heights here for a minute. Clean heights. It's gonna be there, and then we're gonna remove this piece of station. Ridiculous. Boink. Then we can nuke this and buy the land rights. And then they should stop coming up here. Okay. Now we can get rid of all of this and flatten out this land, and then we can put the station tiles down over here. Jeez. That was inordinate. <laughs> drop into a what do you mean they drop into a black hole to turn around? I don't, I don't think I understand. <sighs> Local authority says I'm poor. Well, my seven and a half million dollars begs to differ. Oh, oh, these are just, uh, just concealed buildings. They're, they're building plots that, for whatever reason, the, the concealed sprite is that, that little hole. I don't know, it is a little bit weird. But I'm mediocre! Come on, let me destroy your road system, please! Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. 
I truthfully, I don't really get it either, but I'm not gonna ask questions, you know? Now, the other question that we need to ask, the other, the other question that we need an answer to eventually is how on earth are we going to get the, uh, the rails to connect to the other part of the line over here? I'm just gonna buy all this up so that it doesn't get away from me later. Uh, same thing with this bit here. It's a little bit on the costly side, but I don't care. It's gonna make my life way easier later. We're just gonna block off all the roads real quick. Later we can get rid of that, but for now... <laughs> Alright. Basically the whole reason that we're doing all of this, all of this crap here is so that we can get this station over here so they don't have to make this little kinked S-bend over on this side. Um, once we've fixed that, then we can start double-tracking this entire area. Um, it's gonna be a bit slow. It's gonna be slow going, for sure. Um, and at the very least, this area here needs the double-tracking. We don't necessarily have to double-track the entire main line, but at least this part needs it. Um, because it's got trains constantly coming in and out from both directions, and they're pretty consistently stuck when they when they do that. McLean, what do you have against me? Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, spend a million bucks building a statue of me right here. Um, what that does is it actually gives a permanent bonus of, I think, 10% to every station that you have in the city limits. Um, so any city that you regularly service will benefit from that. I mean, yeah, a little. Okay, alright, fine. Trees. Trees. We'll do trees. Fine. Have it your way, we'll, we're doing trees. Trees, 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 trees. Do you still hate me? Yeah, they still hate me. Trees, 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 trees. They mostly hate me, but not quite as much. Ah! Trees, 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 they are us. Trees, 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 trees. Trees, 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 trees. Trees, 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 trees. Trees, 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 mediocre. Alright, let's let's try this again. Come on! <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? That actually did cost me about five hundred thousand uh, dollars. I still have plenty of money, but that was a lot of trees. Trees, 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 trees. And that word has stopped sounding like a word. <laughs> Look, McLean, I'm buying up all of this undeveloped land. Come on. I'm doing you such a big favor here. Come on. I'm making... I'm giving your town so much money... All I did was take out one tile. Building must be demolished first. Okay. You know what? 
I've had it. I've had it. We're magic bulldozer. <laughs> we're, we're done with this, McLean. We are absolutely done with this. <laughs> Unhappy because it is a knockoff Lightning McQueen. Building must be demolished first. Right. Well, now I have the power to just do that. Frick. <laughs> My ratings will reven eventually, eventually will recover. Quietening the clean. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of perfect, actually, you know? Did they just... Did they literally just build this while I was... Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right. Frick, finally, okay. <sighs> all right, I don't care about your opinion of me anymore because I have a magic bulldozer and I can blow up your whole town if I want to. <sighs> Good gracious, that was a pain. Now the question becomes at this point, where exactly do we want the threatening dictator? <laughs> hey, there's a new person on the stream. Welcome, welcome. Viewer number four. Uh, we're just gonna run some track along here so that they can't repossess that section of track. Uh, yeah, this is better. We need some streetcar. So that'll connect that. We'll have a bunch of stops along here for McLean Heights. <laughs> McLean, please. Please. Please with this. Come on. <laughs> Are you actually kidding? This is a wreck right here. This is this is stupid. <laughs> can we can we please just <laughs> How am I supposed to get out of your town and <sighs> Okay. So we might be baking a bribe. I'm very tempted, actually. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, yeah, no, this is this is bad. This is this is just this is this is bad. I don't like this. It's it's bad. <laughs> we are going to do something a little bit weird, though. We're going to move some of these stations, and we're going to move them actually quite far. Okay, we have a streetcar bridge. Plenty of room for both tracks. We're gonna try and put it down clear. Crap, wait. <sighs> sure that's not gonna do me any favors with the local authority. Uh, that's going to be the new McLean station. And we are going to delete this. So now, this should be the only station called McLean. Once McLean Valley 
remembers that it's not supposed to exist. Uh, yeah, it did correctly adjust. So now these guys are going to come over here. Uh, we're going to move McLean Woods to... Boy, I don't even know where. Uh, McDirty. <laughs> I'm going to move McLean Woods to out here. And we'll run the track. All the way up to where it connects back with our system. Clean Central. You know what I might do actually is put McLean Heights over here. Uh, well, let's let's worry about that one once we've got this all sorted out. Um, There's those. Delete. Get out of the way. 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 Delete that. And we'll worry about fixing that up later. Uh, McLean Central is going to live. Let's put McLean Central way out here just for just for kicks. Why have I done this? That's not... <laughs> Clean central. One, two, three. And then we will remove the clean central from there. And now they're going to all get lost, but we're going to correct that. Oh. It automatically added it. That's cool. Uh, that's the only way in and out of this section right now, so that should be fine. Okay. So part of the reason that we did that was to open up these new areas and, and kind of get services running out here. But the other part is to increase the catchment area overall of the stations that we have and also increase the profitability of each line. So let's, let's let this run how it is for now, just for a second, and see what we get once all of their schedules update. Because <laughs> right now they don't have any sort of sense of where they're supposed to be going and when. my eye out for lost vehicle messages because it might be a problem. Uh, this will also give us an opportunity to massively expand the, our fleet of trolleys here. Hey, a new fourth person. Welcome, welcome. Oh no. That's a problem. <laughs> if road construction happens to affect anything near this bridge, then that station is just not accessible. Oh... Uh, well, okay, whatever. While those are sorting themselves out, uh, let's clear this mess up over here finally. Being sure, of course, to buy the land so that the city can't use it. Now we will replace train stations, the train, the, the train station tiles, that's the one. Uh, we do need to connect it on the other side before we wipe anything out, because otherwise we're not going to be able to connect it back up. We might still have to have some ugly zigzagging over here a little bit. Uh, see, we got to get rid of this first. All of that needs to go. And that needs to go. And then I 
think that's all the all the town owned tiles that I need to wipe out. is to eventually correct this with like proper bridges and whatever, but uh, we're just gonna have to live with it being weird right now. Um, mm. Probably gonna actually put a bit of canal down there because I really like the way that looked. Uh, where are you going, friendo? <laughs> Just not have them do that anymore. All right, there we go. And I actually am going to do this one tile over from where it is right now, but that's the general gist of what I want to do here. Let's raise all of this in a in such a way that I can slope that diagonally. So this area is going to be double tracked now. Uh, we do need to not have trains actually take this route just yet, so we'll clear those. Um, we're going to have to double track the junction, and that's going to get real ugly real fast, but that's fine. Uh, let's signal it. Well, no, let's not signal it until I've got the stations down. Um, Four tracks. Oh boy. Uh, how do these work? Um, okay, so it looks like this goes. Uh, we'll have. No, not that one. One, two, three, and then we're gonna actually extend the station by a couple of tiles because we have room for it now. No! No, why do you think I want... Where did you get the idea I didn't want that to be connected? Blah. We have a five tile long station, and it's going to be pretty. tracks coming in and out of here. It's all McLean Heights all together. So we'll adapt that and that onto the main line and then clear this stuff out. We have our first properly double track double tracked area at least in the vicinity of we were working on before, and I'll probably be selling most of this back to the city um, as soon as I've got all this sorted out, but I do want to hang on to it for now in case I want to make changes. Uh, what do you mean train in the way? There's not a train here. There's no train there. What the crap? Um... Yeah, there's no train there. Um, game, I don't know what you're high on, but <laughs> there's there is not a train there. <laughs> oh, there is a problem. Actually, we can't get. Yeah, that that should fix it. That's definitely a temporary solution, but it'll keep the trains running in the meantime. Alrighty. 
And you know what? Why don't we... Why don't we make a waiting area for trains incoming? So that should be okay for now. Once we finish the double tracking effort, uh, we may want to extend that by one tile, but I think it's okay for now. We also might want to migrate the station over by one tile, but I'm not sure just yet whether we will do that. I like that you can just kind of see through it, uh, through the skylight down there. That's very pleasant. McLean is back to not completely hating me, so I guess that's good. Uh, right. So we're actually going to have to blow that up after all. track that needs to go onto this track. That's fine. That goes uh, that goes that way and receives from there, so I think that's okay. So do we need this? No, we don't need that, because they'll never come from that direction, will they? Yeah, so that should be okay. ugly and I don't like it but it'll work it'll be functional until I can get that into better shape I wanted to use raised track over here but I, I don't think that's actually going to be good for the city or for the area surrounding the station mail oh I should probably do something about all of the mail building up here, shouldn't I? Uh, I suppose I should have thought that through before I started the mail service. Uh, I think that means the line can support more trains now, at least. Now for these double-tracked areas, we want to signal them We'll give it a signal distance of 10, maybe? Well, let's get rid of this. That's not supposed to be there. Uh, we'll give it, yeah, we'll give it a signal distance of six for now. signal right there, and that's a bad place for it. But we do want them facing the other direction. Okay, that looks good. Lisa Frank 11 is lost. Well, that's not ideal. This area is starting to get a little bit congested. That's not good. Not unexpected, but not good either. Um, 
let's check our streetcars in McLean. McLean Road. How long have they been running this new route? Not terribly. I'm also considering, and I don't know if this is a good idea. Hello, fifth viewer. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to speak up in chat. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but I'm almost thinking we might want to run a competing bus service in McLean, just to uh, just to kind of see if we can get some of those newer, faster buses to compete with these streetcars and see if, see which one performs better over the distances we're looking at. Um, the main reason is because our stops aren't terribly frequent. Uh, <laughs> bus races, yeah, honestly, yeah. Um, our stops are not particularly frequent, um, which means that they have a long distance to cover, which means that faster vehicles are going to perform better. And also buses don't have quite the same problems with, uh, with traffic. Or with, uh, with construction, rather. Hmm. So, okay, what vehicles do we even have available then? Road vehicles. Available road vehicles. We'll sort by maximum speed. PCC streetcar, when did these come out? 60 passengers each, whoa. And these ones are the Peter Witts. We've got the flexible clipper and the flexible airway. 31 and 29 passengers respectively, but with a maximum speed of 44 and 64. The Peter Witts go at 36 miles an hour. And so either way, we're gonna to wanna to replace all of the Peter Witts with the PCCs. Like that's just something we want to do, period. Uh, so let's get that replacement going. All vehicles, yeah. Uh, we want to replace these with the new PCC streetcars. We don't need to replace those anymore because they don't exist. These ones will be... Uh, yeah, let's, let's give a, a nice overall uh, overhaul of our passenger stuff. Uh, yeah, PCCs are the new, the new thing. I'm not even sure where these are running. I think they're running in Addison. Um, Stanley General Box Truck. And that is carrying probably manufacturing supplies? Where even are these guys? Uh... Are Addison. Uh, yeah, they're ungrouped. Um, what are they supposed to be hauling? They're supposed to be fitted for goods. Uh, cargo capacity. No, that's not useful. Um, well, those actually don't need replacement right now because they're they're hardly doing anything. So we just want something that's super cheap. Um, same deal for these two. I don't think we really need to do anything special with them. What if, <laughs> Bads. Well, I mean, you'd have to talk to them about that. But somehow I don't think that's a thing. traffic congestion right now. A little bit going on in Twitchton. Alleghenies. Nice. Uh, that should be pretty easy to clear up. <laughs> Ship bads. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good point, actually. Speaking of our ship bads... <laughs> This is still getting almost nothing done. This, this whole business over here is 
is uh, not doing so well. Well, okay, so how much for me to ship all the bands that you have going on? How, how, much, how much do I get for that? Is it worth setting up a service, do you think? To ship your bands? <laughs> Nothing, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, how much to ship them? <laughs> yeah, okay, so how much? <laughs> But again, how much? <laughs> how much do I get for my bad shipping service? <laughs> uh. Sim up well, only if you want your sim bads taken away. Pay me simulated money, get a simulated service. That's how it works. To, hey, Alcos are turning up. EMDs, EMCs. Cool. I've seen a little bit of that in real life. I'm gonna blow those up. about your fancy bridge. I'll rebuild it for you once I'm done. We're actually gonna wipe out this road as well temporarily. For reasons. Alright. That's a terrible idea, but we're gonna do it anyway, gosh darn it. So what we're doing here basically, like, in a nutshell, um, is we're double tracking but also changing the signaling setups. Um, so the trains can't cross over as easily between the two sides of the track whenever they're not supposed to be able to. track. Uh, then we'll signal from, nope, signal from there onwards every six tiles, and same thing here. I'm not sure if that worked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I should have put one down over here. Well, whatever, I did it myself. <laughs> It's okay if this is a little bit janky, because all we really have to do is, uh, is 
to make sure. Ooh. Uh, Oh, I've lost my train of thought. No pun intended. Uh, what the heck was I saying? I'm going to clear this out and actually let the town build there if they want to. As soon as the construction work is done. Wait, I've done this wrong. Crap. Ah. <laughs> now we can do the same thing. And now what we can do is run a track over the top of this. The music says... Yeah, just like that. Uh, it needs to divert before that point. Which means that this has to divert here. That's looking better. Oh no. We have to take a hill. Oh crap. That's not good. terraforming. I would guess probably no. So we will do a bit of minimal terraforming. Tile here, a tile there. No one will notice, it's fine. Bridges, so we can see what we're doing. No, I don't need a model 40 right now, thank you. <laughs> Starting to think the day length is maybe a little bit on the short side here. Uh, I think that's this section double tracked all pretty neatly. We still need the signals up though. that's not going to actually help us at all. There's a path signal inside of the depot. Um, so what's going to happen when they come out of the depot is they're going to reserve a path to the next signal regardless of what direction they're going. Which in turn makes it completely useless to have one sitting here or here. Especially here and here would just be very wasteful. Alright. Trains are now able to wait on one another, which is good. That's what we want. Oops. We will be placing in one more new signal here, so that incoming trains can, can properly path along that. And this all needs to be one way, except the ones at the ends. Which I believe it all is, so I think we're good. I think we're just fine on that. This end's getting to be a little bit of a traffic headache, so we'll change that. Oh, these roads. Oh, these roads are a problem. Uh, okay. 
Um, roads. connected up still so these this side shouldn't all suddenly stop working uh, we'll delete a little bit of this and then bulldoze that house to connect those so that way downtown is at least still technically connected to all this business over here um, getting this stuff hooked up is going to be a challenge, I think. Uh, at least in a way that still preserves the functionality of the road system. Not that we care especially about that, but it's better to be... And the bridge is going to end here, so we're actually going to bring it over to this tile, our, our train line. So some of these bridges can actually still exist. station's going to need to be when we change it. Uh, we can still bulldoze these for a, for a longer station on this end, uh, which is probably going to be beneficial, certainly in the long run. We might even want to add another platform if we get real crazy. Uh, bridges, road bridges from here to... nope, no, not there. From here to here. Cheap looking girder steel and a truss bridge just for novelty weirdness's sake. Uh, let's see, the track running along here. A building. A building. A building. There wasn't a building. Game, you are insane. Uh, we need to bulldoze that and that. Switch over to Universal Rail to build the new depot. I think this should work okay. Oh crap, I'm still doing Universal. Whoops. So that's going to be our little crossover track there. It's a little ugly, but it'll do. And anything that's coming in and waiting will want to wait here. And we're just gonna wipe out a whole bunch of this pretty indiscriminately uh, because we don't have room to allow it to continue to exist. section and then that should be done. We will of course also be coming back to this longer stretch here and redoing that as well uh, in just a few moments. Right now a lot of track is getting reserved so let's get this all signaled up. distance, I should say. We want to, we may want to move, hey, 
Union Pacific Big Boy. I have no justification for purchasing that right now, but I want to have an excuse. <laughs> um, so basically the reason that I'm thinking about this is we might want to move the station to here. Um, because I, right now, like, there's just no room to expand this. It's, it's this weird, like, kinked over corner. So even if we wipe out a bunch of the city, it's going to be really, really hard to maintain any sort of throughput if we... Um, if we expand that in any meaningful regard. So we're, we're going to be cautious about that. Uh, now at this point we do want to start making more trains on this line. Looks like we've got a bit of a performance problem right here with this station. So we actually might want another couple platforms, possibly. Probably one more in each direction, I'm thinking. So we'll do streetcar stations. No. One, two, three, four. And then we will demolish this whole row. And that scooted that over one tile, so now we can afford the space to, uh, to expand to this train station. Um, and you know what we're actually going to do is use this magical, gigantic, four-dial-wide beast that we have access to. And it's just going to be huge. Like, actually huge. <laughs> Come on, guys, get out of the way. Alright, fine, you know what? We will just do this. We'll get these all hooked up. Wait, crap. Uh, so the track still needs to go there. But we might need to move the station forward a tile after all. I was thinking we'd do that eventually, but I didn't really want to do it yet. Huh. Well, I have kind of built myself into a little bit of a corner, haven't I? This is <laughs> this is silly. Um, this is why you're not supposed to do surgery on tracks that are still in use. Um, this is a good spot for a little bit of raised track. Well, no, maybe it's not. Uh, can't do it there. Can't do it there. And can't do it there. Never mind. We're not going to do that just yet. That's still not going to happen, unfortunately. Uh, Alright, so we'll clear those two signals. Come 
on, guys. Come on. Everyone is lost. I'm lost. I am completely lost. It's fine. Uh, we'll stop that train right there. So nothing will come in from that side, and then we need to stop you. And then as soon as this is all done, we'll reinstate their services. No, why? <laughs> why are you... Oh, because there's no signal after it, so it can't even enter the station. Right, silly me. Okay, that's that's fine, right? That's that's okay. Alright. Station tiles. Boop. Boop. Badoop. Badoop. Nope. And badoop. And then we'll delete the station tiles along the back. So that there's still room for the signals that we need in order for this thing to even function. Nope, that's a bad place for those. Okay. Now, if we unpause, or unfreeze these guys, unstop them, now they should be able to come in and out of here in a way that actually works. And in fact, these signals shouldn't be here either. Just kind of instinct. Uh, since they're one-way signals, we don't need to deal with that. They can just zip in and out of here however they like. Got our lovely little bit of surf rock happening. Oh, that's why nothing works. Ha. Ha, 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 right. I, I may not have built this entire junction. I built most of it. I just kind of forgot a step. Ha, whoops. Really? In the GRF? Yeah, I'll take a look at that. That actually sounds very entertaining. So McLean is now absolutely ginormous, their, their station. one. I do want an RS1, but not right now. <laughs> Game. <laughs> okay, so they've still got the same weight spots on in that direction, which is good. not actually reserving any path at all, so that's a little scary. Hmm. I did make this platform so that I could improve the station later, which was, in retrospect, I'm glad I did that. signal this in just a minute. Southern Pacific GS4. Oh, heck yeah! Yes, I want that. Uh, I'm not going to be able to build it until it's out anyway, but yeah. That one has got some history to it.
allowed to put a bridge here. Bridge head's not at the same level. Well, screw you two. How about now? Oh, come on. Seriously? Fine. Well, we'll just do this the stupid then way then, shall we? That's still gonna connect to that. But this is going to go over here. Wait, I can't. Ah! Bridges. Man. that and then we'll make a canal uh, and we'll build a river piece because we're allowed to do that I guess there now everything's fine <laughs> I don't have to disrupt the town's bridges any more than absolutely necessary now this, this is fine we'll have two nice little viaducts right next to each other It'll be lovely aesthetically pleasing Trains can get where they're going. Everything's fine. Signaling is going to be an absolute mess. But that's that's okay. No no one's gonna no one's gonna notice. Especially if I mention it out loud on a live stream. Like I am doing right now. speak for your signals. Unless you were to join the game. Uh, <laughs> so we have one single tracked section left and it's from here to here. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's blow up some buildings. You know, what, what's a little domestic terrorism between friends, right? And I just bet Lisa of Frank 3 is lost after I just... <laughs> okay. So that needs to go there. That can go away. And now that junction is actually going to work. That only ever needs to go there, so that track can go away. That goes there, and there. This goes here, and here, so it doesn't need... Was I just getting rid of it? <laughs> There's a redundant track segment, but now I've lost it. Where did it go? That one. That's right. That, that looks right. Okay. before the junction rather than in the middle of it. Um, I think that's the last signal that doesn't belong where it is. Um, let's do a quick spot check for those. as well. That was a bit redundant. Hmm. Okay, these need to... Wait, do they? No, these are fine. Whoa! Why did the signal style change? Oh, 
Oh, this uh, this patch pack allows for signals on bridges, which I am just all about. Although it does lead to stuff like this sometimes. Uh, let's do this one direction at a time. We'll come back to the other facing in a moment. direction. Got one when leaving. Wow, that's gonna confuse me. <laughs> and we're actually signaling now for the the station placement that we're gonna have later, rather than how it is right now. I'm gonna future proof this just a tiny little bit. I feel like that's all I can ask of myself. Okay, this side signaled well. This, I believe, is fine. Although we do probably want to move this up to here. good. So now we can just absolutely flood the line with trains now um, to keep up with all of the demand. Just, just lots of trains. <laughs> and that should actually help the station ratings as well. Oh, goodness. My chair is just being a little bit <laughs> unhelpful. Yeah, they're loading up as fast as they can. Absolute mess. Ooh. Whoa, 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 look at this, look at this. Those new streetcars we got ages ago are articulated. It's two halves. So they actually like bend around corners now. I think later on in our current, the, the North, North American road set, that's, that's the word. <laughs> Um, we will get uh, articulated road vehicles, so like uh, like big semi trucks. Uh, those are those are honestly pretty cool looking. All right, so once these guys finish coming out of here, then we'll we'll move on to look somewhere else. Um, and in fact, we actually want to remove that. Well, not yet. <laughs> We don't want to remove that signal until there's nothing waiting at it, because otherwise we will have a crash. So as soon as this guy is able to move, then we'll we'll get rid of the signal and hopefully that'll fix that. same thing here and we'll put a signal on the other side of it. So that's where that needs to be and then this one is covering this whole area as well from the other side. Okay, so Lisa Frank, one through 20 odd I think. 7, 16, 15, how many are there in total? Message history. New road vehicle. I don't care actually. 
So this end is going to have just a massive traffic jam for a minute um, while everything sort of sorts itself out. Because our biggest station has only two platforms. Yup. And we'll probably be like that for the foreseeable future. Mm. I feel like I should change it, but I'm not sure how I want to. You know what let's do is our, our usual strategy of buying up all the land in the area. Just kind of sit on it till we know what we're doing. Uh, let's bomb a couple of these buildings while we're at it as well. And there's our headquarters. We have a we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-story building. Our flag got slightly taller, slightly bluer. Our wall got less complete, I guess. There's no way in, because this is a building, and this is a wall. Um, but that's okay, because we own all these vacant lots. Oh, boy. Um, but what having all of this does actually let us do is increase the height of that so we can make this platform a little bit longer. Uh, and then what we may want to do is actually put the, the two new platforms along here. Yellowstone locomotive 2884. Big, big heavy fellow. What are we doing on our finance anyhow? So, infrastructure costs, running costs, train running costs were high, which, I mean, we kind of knew. But mostly what killed us last year is these new vehicles. Um, we're making a little bit of money annually, not, not a ton, but an okay amount. Uh, let's see about our operating profit over time. This is over the last one, two, three, four, five, six years. Oh, I don't even remember why this went so low. Uh, that's annual profits. Performance history, consistently high. I'm proud of that. Income, acceptable. Delivered cargo, also good. Company value has been weirdly static 4444 duplex those are neat but I'm not going to go for them hmm. okay well now we've got stuff zipping through here pretty regularly which is good now on the topic of our biggest platform that's that's gonna be a question um, let's see how densely our trains are packed right now. Looks like most of the traffic's probably still going to be over here. I don't think that's any real shock. I don't think that's going to come as a shock to anybody who's been paying attention. Um, I got stuff pulling in and out of Seymour on the regular. They like us in Seymour. We've got a couple thousand people waiting. Clean Heights is dense. <laughs> Uh, looks like the traffic jam has kind of migrated over to Palmer. Not sure why. Um, maybe it just hasn't quite unstuck itself. And yeah, just way too much on this end as well. Hmm. I wonder if these are... Yeah, that's number seven, which is kind of right behind all of the traffic from the new trains. So once they complete their first circuit, I think it'll automatically stretch them out a little and make this a little bit less uncomfortable. Let's 
That's more or less what I'm expecting to see anyway. Not sure whether that's what's going to happen. Check our train's profits. Lisa Frank, extremely profitable. Cowcatchers, non, not profitable. Bauxite trains, wow, are they expensive. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Mm, I don't know what to do about these guys. They're just they're very unprofitable in general. Uh, the metal supply, I don't know that there's much we can do about because they're just going to be slow no matter what. Um, and it looks like these are going to basically break even. One of them's going to be profitable and one isn't. Hmm. I mean, this is by far the biggest cost center in terms of operating costs. Although the, cat the cow catchers aren't great either. Um, it's more than made up for by the Lisa Frank trains, though. Overall... Yeah, massive profit even with these unprofitable services. Uh, the ungrouped road vehicles are pretty costly overall. They're, yeah, I mean, it's not appalling, but it's not good either. Addison, weirdly, is doing pretty okay with those buses. Hmm. And yeah, these are these are doing predictably well. Uh, all vehicles, replace vehicles, and then we can stop these from showing up in the list. Let's take a look at these guys, because we haven't, we haven't checked in over here very frequently. So this is only occasionally even producing anything from the look of it. Which really sucks, honestly. Um, it's, it's not really doing much of anything on this end. leaves me to wonder, do we want to start bussing some of this crap in, or, or trucking it in, instead of using these trains that are only showing up on occasion? Because I think it, it might be better to have, um, to have like little amounts of each, and sort of stretch it out a little bit more, because that'll keep the production stepped up longer. And... We're gonna we're gonna use conventional trucks to to uh, cover for some of this, I think. That means that we need inline truck stops here, 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 and here. Which will allow these guys to take a shorter journey as well. Then we will also need truck stops. Let's see here. Uh, and... Here and here. That should be okay. Again, not amazing, but acceptable. And now... We need road depot, put one there, and then we'll put one at the other end. Oh, there's already one at the other end. Um, we probably want one somewhere halfway along, so one there, and that'll block off that road so it doesn't build in conveniently along the shoreline. Um, and I think that should be okay. So we'll start in the middle, just for kicks. Uh, and we want cargo capacity. No, we want... Mm, 
No, actually, we just want the newest thing, I think. Uh, yeah, these flatbeds, I think, are probably gonna be the way to go. 35 miles an hour. By one of them, directions go here. We'll have it full load there, and then go here. Full load, and then we'll have it leave empty from there. Well, actually, we may want to have it load goods or supplies or something. No, we'll have a dedicated service for that. I, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, then we'll clone the crap out of it. Uh, ten of them for now. And then we will do the same thing for what else is even coming out of this thing? Just metal? Just metal. Metal's the only thing coming out of there. So we'll, we'll leave it at metal and see what happens. Doop, 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 doop. A little small army of uh, trucks and loads of lost road vehicles someplace because I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some road construction somewhere, I'm sure. Vroom, vroom. Let is lost, because still, somehow, we have this problem. Um, and then this train, Jimothy, we're going to tell it to unload all cargo, load nothing. Is it carrying anything? It's carrying metal. Okay. Switch its orders back in case we want to resume using this, but as soon as it's done over here, we will send it back to this depot. Because we're decommissioning that service, basically. Zoom. Depot. This depot, this one right here, Twitchin Depot number two. Yeah, can we do that? There you go, thank you. Jimothy is waiting in the depot. We will eventually come back to Jimothy, maybe for the same service, maybe for something totally unrelated, I'm not sure yet. We have eight out of the 10 trucks here. You know, I'm thinking maybe we want two more. Not because we really need them, but because I want... <laughs> oh, good job. Because I want them to line up neatly if they all uh, are waiting. Alright, so one of the trucks is, is headed out. So yeah, more frequent, smaller shipments I think is going to be the way to go. And then it'll step up production any time that the chemical train arrives. Assuming that this works how I hope it will. I just want, like, continuous small amounts instead of... Oh, man. It's waiting for bauxite, chemicals... I, there just isn't a way to speed this up, I don't think. Unless I serve the bauxite mine by road. Uh, which would do away with these extremely, extremely expensive services. <laughs> Um, so that's worth looking at. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to want to do this by road, even though I am loath to give up my trains. Uh, Twitchton Tanner Road. Uh, you get to have a bunch of truck stops. Come down. 
down by one, and now we can have the other. Oh, uh, the truck stop, right there. And then that leaves us a little bit of space over here for a lovely little depot. Now again, I do not love the idea of doing it this way. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just a little bit, a little bit of an ugly situation. And we're actually gonna we're gonna get rid of four of these. And the reason that we're gonna do that is so that. Assuming that all of the vehicles are waiting at the same time, um, we will always be able to uh, we will always be able to fit more vehicles. So that we'll never have a situation where they have to they have to like all cram in here and, and only some of them can fit. Uh, meanwhile, back to road construction. That'll be our bauxite drop off right there. Well. No, maybe, maybe it shouldn't be. Uh, maybe we should have that on through roads instead. There's this room for two right here. Ow. Ow, now. Yeah, there we go. Um, and that should allow... I'm not sure if it'll respect that. No, that's that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. Let's put it on the other side. Doop, doop. No? Oh, no. Doop, doop. Doop. Okay. We're gonna pretend that this warrants anywhere near this much traffic, which obviously it doesn't, but we're gonna pretend. Uh, and then it still can get to the depot by coming around. Ooh, that's actually a pretty long drive. Um, put a depot over on this side as well, just to get around that problem. Okay. New vehicles. Vehicles that carry bauxite. Oops, nope, 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 nope. Just the one. It needs the orders to go to... Oh no, those are all different stations. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, come on. Doop, 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 doop. And we're going to place them as part of Twitchton Tanner Road. There we go. So now those should all play nice. Okay. So go to Twitchton Tanner Road, then go to Twitchton Docks, rinse, repeat, Twitchton Tanner Road, wait for full load, and then we are going to have a rather large fleet of these. Then we are going to decommission our profoundly unprofitable service over here. There's the other guy. Here's the other guy. So he's going to get depoted as soon as he's done delivering. Both of them will. Jomothy and Jamothy, I'm sorry. Jimothy, Jomothy, and Jamothy are all getting depoted for the foreseeable future. I think they're all... Well, they're not all going to end up in the same depot, I don't think. Okay. Depoed. You're already unloaded, but for some reason you don't seem to understand that you need to go to the depot. Okay. So now we're sending trucks down here 
a little at a time to bootstrap this so that it constantly has a small flow instead of occasionally having a big flow. And I think that will be better. I think, I think, I think. The cargo will decay less, which is always good. Um, I don't think there's any speeding up the, uh, the chemicals. Um, I think that's just going to be too far to do by truck. Uh, reasonably, unless we like build a highway system, which no. <laughs> Steve is carrying 34,000 gallons of chemicals, miscellaneous chemicals, comma miscellaneous. Uh, yeah, so these are getting decent transfer credit, which is actually like that's that's probably going to be pretty profitable for them, I think. I'm thinking. Um, and this is the bauxite service. Bauxite delivery. I'm going to add all shared vehicles back to ungrouped. Let's get this wrangled a little bit if we can. These guys are doing metal delivery. Add shared. Back to ungrouped. What else do we have here? These ones are in Seymour. Seymour Street Car. Vehicles. Okay, that's those ones. Now, what are these guys even doing? These are in the Twitchton Industrial Park. These ones are doing what? Sugar beets, I think. <laughs> and this guy is. What is this guy even doing? Manufacturing supplies from Twitchton Industrial Park to where? To the port. Oh, oh, those. Ah. Those are just the guys that are doing that back and forth run. I don't think they need anything special. All right. Color scheme. Road vehicles. Bauxite is bright red. They are going to be hot pink. What is this guy doing down here? Where did you come from? Metal. Why are you coming from this side? <laughs> I'm confused. Metal delivery. You're gonna be gray, I guess. Sure. Now, when they're done, can they leave? Or are they just gonna wait for this guy forever? Oh crap. Alright, alright, fine, I'll do it the other way. Yeah, yeah, we're close, we're close, we're almost there. <laughs> Okay, so we have a slight problem. You're just gonna skip ahead for a second and make an extra trip. You are gonna do the same thing. Because... Baby Train Master. What? Then this station, what are you doing? What are you trying to load? Go to Twitchton Docks, 0% full. Why, what are you doing? We're having a crazy time, I think. The 
This guy needs to skip an order. And then we need to delete that station. And now we can finally connect these together and have them work. Okay. So the Seymour streetcars are a little bit lame right now, but that's fine, honestly. They're not doing anything that they don't need to. Um, 4464 PR Class Q2. Insufficiently pretty, I do not care. <laughs> so we're getting close-ish to the end of our uh, the end of our stream tonight. Um, I want to have a little bit of story time for a second. Um, where is it? There's a specific thing in here somewhere. Voltaic duplex, no. Yep, it's story time. It is it is story time on the selfish stream. This right here, the 484 Southern Pacific GS4. Uh, there is a particular GS4 um, still in operation. It's a uh, it's this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful vehicle. Uh, it's Southern Pacific 4449, and you're gonna hear a sound in a second. That is the sound of a piece of Southern Pacific 4449's uh, uh, superheater that was replaced during maintenance in 2015 that I keep on my desk. <laughs> um, I am mildly obsessed. Uh, I think it's justified though because I've had my hands on that particular locomotive and it's truly gorgeous. Um, it spends most of its time these days uh, up in Oregon, uh, in the Portland Rail Museum. Uh, although they do actually take it out with surprising frequency, um, just for like uh, exhibition rides. And it is super, super cool seeing it, seeing it up close and personal. Um, I am going to actually buy one of these and put it on the main line just for fun. Um, we're gonna... New vehicles... Uh, let's see, we don't have PA1s yet, so I can't talk about that. Uh, and have it make any sense. Uh, this is gonna be in its own group. So that we can give it a custom color scheme. Oh, it doesn't like doing that. I'm going to give it that name as well, just for kicks. This is just pure indulgence, by the way. <laughs> Please don't think that I am unself aware enough to not realize that. Uh, let's see, so it has the tender with it. Uh, the passenger carriages that it has in real life, which I saw a couple of as well. That was super, super cool. Um, I don't think they exist in this new GRF. Um, uh, multiple unit cars, no. Metro unit car, no. Passenger carriages only. Oh, <laughs> that's a little depressing. We've got the locomotive, but not the carriages. <laughs> uh, there is actually somebody's working on a new GRF um, that they've been posting on the on the OpenTTB subreddit. Uh, that's that is literally just the Southern Pacific livery, um, but. Like in the carriages that they specifically used for that, so like all the all the old Pullman coaches and all that cool stuff. Uh, so I'm absolutely going to be installing that new GRF when it's done. <laughs> BR, what what is that? Oh, the R 
that be our uh, multiple units? No. Steel passenger car? Wooden passenger car? That's not look right. I think it might be the lightweights. FME rebuilt. AFC, ACF Brill IC41. Nope. Well, we'll use these in the absence of. Where's. Why can't I. <laughs> Wrong dialogue. Obviously, that would be what I did. Okay, well, we've decided what we want, so that, that makes this a little easier. Uh, and I'll actually make it a nice long express service. And, uh, two lightweight mail cars, I think. Bring those up to the front. Yeah, that looks good. Now we color it. It gets a custom color scheme, so it's going to be orange and red. And that is probably as good of a likeness as you're going to get in this uh, in this setting. Um, don't mind my doing that. I just need to check and see. Well, let's see. What, what about red and orange? Is that going to be closer? Oh yeah, that's way closer. Yeah. Um, we're actually going to do heavyweight carriages because they they look closer. It's, it's purely for aesthetics. Uh, all of that type of oops, all of that type of vehicle. Uh, oops, no, only two. Two of those. It's still not anywhere near exactly right, but it's as close as I can make it. Um, normally, these would have a lot more like orange striping on them. Um, if they were matching the exact livery. But that's okay, it's close enough. <laughs> Let is lost, but is anyone really surprised? We're gonna share orders with the Lisa Frank line, and then unleash her. probably going to be a bit on the fast side compared to the rest of the stuff floating around in here, and it's too long for this platform. Oh, it's too long for any of the platforms, actually. Oh, crap. That might be an issue. Uh... Um... Hmm... I didn't think this through. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I really didn't think this through. Hang on. Uh, go back to the depot. Go back to the depot. Go back, go back to the depot. Ignore the signal. Go back to the depot. Go back to the depot. There you go. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna have to just sit in the depot for a minute until we get that figured out. Uh, until we get all of those corrected to the right length. Oof. Alright, so we'll, we'll just have to remember that that exists. It's not gonna, at least it's not gonna cost us any money to keep it. Uh, these look like they're actually keeping up just about exactly with the demand here, which is nice. Uh, we may want, if we can find a source of engineering supplies, we'll probably want to send trucks up with that as well to make this a little bit more effective. Baldwin DR12s, nope. There's a couple of specific locomotive types that I'm like, yes, we have to have those somewhere. Um, there's only a few of those, but I, I, I will insist when we get access to them. Uh, the other one is the, uh, the Alco PA one, which is... Got another story about that one. I don't have any parts from it, but I, I do have a story. Uh, Dutch edition. Metro stations. One tile, no track. Two tile, two tile, no track. I don't know what any of this is. Uh, do we have any pre-made stations that look any good? Doma style. 
Eindhoven. Uh, not sure what an Eindhoven is, but yeah, sure. Blump. Uh, okay, that's an Eindhoven, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the look. We're just gonna hide a whole lot of things for a minute because we need to change the height of some of this land. Okay. Um, we might need to actually move our headquarters. <laughs> to move it, but I think we have to. Uh, that sucks. Relocate HQ to right there. We're going to lower the rest of this as well. Everything the city will let me, I guess. And then buy the land. Ah, it's all mine. It belongs to me. You can't have it. You cannot have it back. Alright, back to crazy looking stations. That's got a fixed length. That's not ideal. Um, hmm. Let's have a sextant and then the Eindhoven monstrosity can be over here. Building? What building? Is there a building here? There was a building there. Who put a building there? Giant Eindhoven thing is there now. My building. Not your building. I need these trains to leave so that I can rejig the station again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. They're coming in too frequently. Stop! Alright, I think we might just need to stop the next train that's on its way. Don't let me forget that I did that. <laughs> that would be a right disaster. Loading, loaded, goodbye. Okay. Now we can view stations again because we're going to be removing this weird thingy that we've built. Replacing it with this weird thingy that I've built now. And then we're going to remove those two station tiles and change the track layout around a bunch. Uh, let's see, do we want multiple exit tracks? in and out on the same track that way. Sorry, I'm just trying to think how this is going to fit together once it's actually operational. Yeah, that's the only one that doesn't have an exit path. The normal way. But we can actually just extend this, can't we? So that should be fine, I think. That should work. Now we resignal. And we actually. <gasps> PAs. Almost time. And. Screw me, I think we have to move our headquarters. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah, we need five tiles of station. Oh, crud. Uh, well, I'm not happy about that. Um, we need this road to be intact, I think. Oh, I guess we don't have to. Uh, time to blow stuff up. <laughs> well, let's find out, actually. Boop. 
It costs me money to blow it up, but it doesn't cost me money to relocate it. Okay. Fine, whatever. <laughs> That's a little silly, but I don't care enough to fight it. <laughs> uh, we need to rejig the roads some, because this is otherwise going to get real ugly real fast. Hide the giant station building of terror. You stop that. Hey. Right. All right. You, you, you good? Are we good? So that can be built. This cannot. Oops. This cannot be built. That can be built. It really does. It's it has decided. Um, and we'll blow up that building and raise one tile of land here, and then we will run the road down here like it's supposed to be. All right. Now we can have platforms that are the right length. Jeez. many unprofitable services, my gosh. Uh, stations, again. Two by three, two by two, two by three. That's not gonna work, is it? Mm, okay, we need something bigger. Metro stations, do you have any pre-builds? Because I don't want to fuss with it. So there's some pre-built objects in here, but most of it's just individual tiles, which is fine when you, you know, when you want to spend an hour just focusing way down on one specific object. Um, that's not really what I'm after right now. I'm, I'm trying to make this look right. <laughs> tracked and non-tracked. Whoa! That's large. Um, kind of stuff going on over here. Modular stations. Yeah, I mean, I think that this is going to look good over here, right? I think that's just a building. Uh, where are the buffer stops? thing to keep in mind is that our entire rail network is completely ground to a halt right now. So, ah. I'm just going to complain about the signals. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Crossings. How do I do crossings? Oh, no. Um, oh, I just decided that it's going to be Twitch tonight. <laughs> Crap. No station. Wrong station. Bad station. Okay, we're going to place that and attach it to Twitch and Old Town Hall. And then we'll build off of this end and it'll be fine. We're gonna have platforms. Hey, now, 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 none of this road building. Cut that out. You stop that. You're saying about the city demanding roads. You were not kidding. Lisa Frank can't find, 17 can't find a path to continue. That's because everything is locked up at the moment. Oh, the overpasses should be here. Not more nice things along the sides. Like these tiled roofs. And I'm sure I'm going to change most of this in a minute, but that's okay. Uh, we 
the buffer stops that face the other direction. Where are the buffer stops? They are down here. Okay, so this should be functional now. I think. Um, Now we can resume you, and our monstrous traffic jam should gradually unclench itself a little bit. See how far it backed up? Wow. Are you number, no, you're number 12. You're actually still in motion. Wow. Yeah, it backed up clear over to Palmer. as well as all the way through Seymour. I'm not surprised by this. <sighs> They're all trying to get maintenance because it's been so long since they've been able to move properly. Like right now, Addison is the holdup, and it's probably going to propagate backwards through McLean, uh, McLean Heights. This isn't like flawlessly efficient right here, but I kind of look the way that it looks. It just pleases me. Obviously we'll want to come back here and kind of touch it up a little bit, make it a little prettier, but right now, yeah, it's, it's functional. Right now function is what we need. And why is traffic all seized up going this direction? Oh jeez. Both ways. Addison is clogged up in both directions. Oh come on, man. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Here come another couple bauxite trucks. Some chemicals getting delivered. And thanks to Cargo Dist, we only need one train to stop in at each station, and it won't uh, it won't just dump all of it. For profitability warnings, which I do not care about at all. <laughs> I should probably just tell it to suppress those. Hey, this is actually making stuff now. Engineering supplies. We can take those and truck them up to the bauxite mine, can't we? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Finally, something to do with this thing. <laughs> Good job. Uh, right, so new vehicles that can carry engineering supplies. T1 flatbed. Is that our best cargo capacity? Yes, it is. Buy one of those, and it will go to here, and then it will go to... go to here, and it will wait for a full load because there's no point in having it wander off on its own like that, and then we'll clone it a few times, and yeah, good, give it 10, sure, why not, and we will allow it to move. We do need to make sure that there's enough truck stops here. Definitely are not. 
can only hold six vehicles and it's gonna need more than that uh, to be able to be stationary. So blow up that and that and that and then we will build truck stops here, here, and here. And then we will bulldoze these bits because I don't want it to do that. I want a truck stop there as well. It's going to be fairly dense and super ugly. But we'll also have a bunch of trucks that are actually waiting here, so we need space for them. In addition to the ones that are like through driving. Um, making through stations is absolutely not going to work for that. Um, So, okay, so we've got goods coming here, we've got manufacturing supplies coming here, both slowly, um, and it produces uh, engineering supplies on its own. So that's actually going to give us a buff to our bauxite mine production, which will in turn improve our metal production, which will improve the industrial park. Heaven willing. <laughs> um... So I think that is going to make a nice little resource loop for us. It'll hopefully build on itself enough that we can justify running a train again. It's probably going to be a while before that happens. Also, this is getting out of hand. Twitchton is very large now. This is actually having some kind of traffic now, which is good. It's keeping the boats busy, or less unbusy. The aluminum plant, really we just need to get some scrap metal going for that, but um, the only source we have for that is clear up here at this junkyard. And that needs engineering supplies as well, so... We're just going to have to figure out a way to deal with that. Um, we might have... We might have like a mixed freight train that comes up here with goods and, uh, and engineering supplies and leaves with scrap metal. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how we're going to do it, but that might be what we have. Um, that actually might be a good way of also getting around the problem of the metal just sitting around forever. Um, without the, the trucks that we're using right now. I suppose we'll see. Seymour being a terminal that all of these visit is probably going to need some kind of expansion, but I don't want to do that right now. Uh, we will think about it later. I know that I don't want to do it now, that's about all I know. <laughs> This is still trying to unjam itself from earlier, but it'll get there. Yeah, we definitely need to improve this station pretty soon. Um, some of these are going to be easier than others, like this guy right here, no problem. Let's just do that now, in fact, while we're waiting for it. We'll stop the trains on either side of it, and then just make same thing we already have. Maybe if that's even what it is. It's not. A uh, Japanese platform. Let's yeah, see these ones. Two by five. All done. Painless. Didn't even stop the trains for very long this time. I mean, long enough to create a traffic jam, but really that only takes a couple seconds. Uh, yeah, and as the as the traffic gets worse, um, each successive train is less valuable than the previous because it's only coming back to these stations that are already picked clean. Uh, that's weird.
Jimothy, Jimothy, and Jamothy are all still stopped. There's a lot of Lisa Frank trains. Um, there's 20 of them now. Lisa Frank 1 through 20. <clears throat> more boats. Yes, yes, more boats. Absolutely, more boats. Uh, what is going on with the cow catchers? Why are they not profitable anymore? What are their running costs looking like right now? <laughs> Running cost. Forty three thousand a year. Which means that it's only making like fifteen thousand. Over here we've got hundred and eighteen in running costs. Jeez. And yeah, it's not making significantly more. We need those services to continue running, because they're supplying, like, literally everything. <laughs> um, specifically, they're, they're per, um, supplying our chemical generation. Um, so if we can get, like, building materials and gasoline supplied here, then we can get the chemicals, no problem. Um, but, yeah, the way we're doing it right now is not... It's not producing particularly much. So, that's where we're at. Um, lead is lost, no surprise there. Lead is always lost, lead is lost literally all the time. Uh, these, these farms still just don't really wanna cooperate. Uh, it might be worth bussing everything to a central location and cutting down to just one train. Um, I mean, I don't love that idea. It's, it's a little bit, a little bit problematic. But also, the trains just aren't filling up. I don't think. Let's see what it ends up with by the end of the line. Seventy-two head can carry a total of two hundred. And here it comes. Yeah, so it's less, it's running less than half filled. So we'd either want to, uh, to reduce its capacity by cutting off a couple of these cars and making it lighter and easier to run. Um, I don't think that would significantly reduce running costs. Um, I mean, this guy's already just tiny. And it's running, yeah, it's running it barely, barely full. So we might want to switch over to road vehicles, even though I kind of hate doing that. Um, Tim Allen is unprofitable. Um, yeah. So that's where we're at. We've got we've got some very profitable services and a bunch of not so profitable services. Um, we spent most of today upgrading our train line, um, and it's actually looking pretty good. Uh, we've also set up some bus services, or some truck services, to get some of our lower throughput goods going uh, in a less stupid way. And it actually seems to be going alright. The engineering supplies coming out of here are frequent and not dependent on the, uh, on the inputs, but the inputs will speed it along. Um, the bauxite mine... It's currently at quadruple production. Wow, we actually might need more trucks. We definitely need more trucks. Holy crap. That's not a problem I thought I was going to have. Let's deploy another 10. Oh man, we actually have enough that it might be worth reinstating the train service. Jeez. Um, we definitely need another pair of Class C Shays. Uh, let's see. Let's get this figured out before I call it for the night, because otherwise I'm going to forget. Uh, no, we, we want um, highest tractive effort. You know, 
Uh, this actually might be worth it. What's the current running cost on these? Running costs. Oh, it is still somehow more expensive. <laughs> Yellowstone is okay as far as the running cost goes. I just want to, like, reduce the running cost and still have <laughs> the beast. The Allegheny. Um... Hmm. DR12, 8300, facing forward, please. Uh, yeah, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna commission a couple of these for this road. And they are actually gonna be stronger than the Shake classes. Geomathy. Uh, no, you know what? We're gonna do this a little differently. Let's let's um, get it from the groups here. No, go away. No, go away. Uh, replace vehicles. We will replace these with the Baldwins. Forward facing again. And then we'll actually just delete the Baldwins entirely. Now that we know what the heck we're making. Auto replace, and now they're only two tiles long, so we can actually put some more hoppers on them. Uh, let's see if there's better hoppers floating around. Cars. Two bay hopper. Stop replacing all of these. No, it's not going to let me because it's the wrong menu. Uh, sort by cargo capacity. And unfortunately, it's a little bit silly the way that this works. Large hoppers for bauxite. Start replacing. Replace all. Cool. Alright. So now we can actually just buy a few more of those to fill these guys out. Sevens, Foster Pioneer bus. Hey, we've got like almost normal buses now. Unprofitable. Unprofitable. How dare you with the unprofitable? Uh, train depot, new vehicles. Uh, we want cargo capacity. We want bauxite refit after buy. Still got. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Capacities, cargo capacity 265 tons compared to the 2,000 tons waiting because of gung ho production. That's. Honestly, that's a pretty good shape to be in right now. It'll speed things along quite well, I hope. Assuming that these things can take the hill okay. I'm not 100% sold on that idea. But we'll see in a minute. Right, the buildings, 100% full. Oh, early Boeing. MDF 5. Why are you still waiting? Oh, that's weird. Oh, it takes the hill just fine. It takes the hill perfectly. Yo! We finally have a solution. I think these might actually turn a profit for once. 
and this is producing 357 tons a month. Dang. Oh, it's trying to space it out along the line. Maybe we don't want it to do that on these, actually. Timetable. Do not automate separation. Non-timetable service. That's part of the problem that we had before. Jamathy and Jamathy have bulked up. They are no longer too heavy. They are actually quite buff these days. And uh, coincidentally, that's our first two diesel locomotives. Lead is lost. Oh, that's a cool little meetup meet up there. The, uh, the train hauling the bauxite just got passed over by a set of bauxite bearing trucks. Which are there to supplement its service. Or originally to replace it, but that's because it's kind of ridiculous. Broken down zero power. Okay. Actually, giving the boats a run for their money for once. Wow. That's literally the first time that one of these boats hasn't been at least half empty. Alright, so this might actually start producing now. Maybe. So this is this is kind of the power of the resource loops in um, uh, Fears, the industry replacement set. Um, there's just so much, um, so much stuff to haul around that it's really hard to get it all going. Um, but once it's all set up, you get a resource loop going where, for example, this is producing engineering supplies, which we're speeding up by having the, uh, the goods and manufacturing supplies from the, from Twitched and Metal Workshop, um, hauled over here. So that's actually speeding up production. Um, that is producing more crates of engineering supplies every now and then. It's, it's still producing at normal, right? Either way. Um, and then our trucks are taking that... Oh, excuse me. Up to the bauxite mine. Oh, what's this? Smithy Forge. Accepts metal. Well, when we have some spare metal, we might actually start, uh, start serving that. Uh, you know, we actually might want to double track the, or at least add a passing track in here somewhere, um, just so that these guys can be a little bit less ineffective. Um, I'm taking that up here, and this is then taking those engineering supplies and increasing production to quadruple, uh, which is then creating way more bauxite, which is finding its way down to the aluminum plant, which is producing more metal, which is feeding the metal workshop. Um, so we're actually ending up with a surplus, well, not necessarily a surplus of everything, but a possible surplus of everything, um, depending on where the goods are, or where, where all of these commodities are headed, ultimately. Um, so we've got a surplus, I'm fairly certain, of some objects here. What are you, what are you loading? Oh, you think you're supposed to be timetabled. You're not supposed to be timetabled. That service does not need to be timetabled. That is a waste. No timetables. Can I change the timetable for the whole group? No, I can't. That's okay. Doing that for all of them. It isn't. That's, that's good, I guess. Oh, 
hopefully that'll be less dumb. Um, okay. So that should keep them from all staying separate, because they don't need to be. <laughs> Driving through downtown here, I guess is probably a little bit intense for these trucks. <laughs> Look out! Look out! Yikes. So most of our road services don't need to be timetabled because we don't need... Well, actually, now that I think about it, that might not be correct. Oh, looks like we've got some more viewers. Welcome. Um, we're actually a little bit over the end time, but uh, we stream every day from 7 to 10 p.m. Every weekday, uh, 7 to 10 p.m. Mountain Time, whoever you are. Um, so hop back in tomorrow, and we'll, we'll see you then. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to test it with and without the timetabling. And if it works well without the timetabling, I'll leave it like that, and if it works better with, then I'll switch it back. Uh, either way, yeah, we've, we've set up some pretty successful services. Um, I got over my prejudice against road vehicles, and now we actually have a, a decent resource loop for the first time so far this game. Um, Alright, so with that, I'll save my game. You'll, you'll see me do it. We've reached the normal start date, 1950. Finally. Um, we've been playing since 1875. Um, and really, we haven't touched that much of the world. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that probably in the late 2050s, knowing me. So, alright. Have a great evening, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow.